Hello YouTubers. I recently purchased a Corsair K70 Rapid Fire. Now I'm experiencing the problems of what people are referring to as key chatter or bounce. But in fact that's not the case. The case actually is the little plastic tops to the actual switches themselves um, it's like with this one here the top is wobbly and what happens is when you press the key it's not making perfect you know registering like as one key press because the the key cap or the switch cap should we say is actually wobbling it's not secure I don't know whether the camera you can see that in the camera I think you can see the screwdriver moving screwdriver is not actually moving on the plastic it's the actual plastic button cap that's moving there if you can see that and that every time you're pressing the key button while it's been pushed down this moving is breaking and remaking the contact for when you press the key button obviously this is a uh, it's not tight and securely clipped over the top of the key cup now this is faulty most of the others are actually tight fit um, but obviously on occasional buttons they're more looser than other buttons so um, you've got this issue with these these plastic caps are not made to the uh, the greatest of tolerances so when they're clipping in they're, they're they're loose now if you're in warranty then it's wise to you know probably use your warranty or whatever to fix this but if you're out of warranty and this has become a problem then if you very carefully right on the edges there is little plastic standoffs where the top cap sits against if you place a very very tiny amount and I do mean very tiny amount of super glue just on the corner tip there just in case if you need to actually remove it it's not going to cause that much of a problem because you literally just want to hold this wobbly cap in place and you place tiny bit there little tiny bit right on just one of the corners you don't need you don't need it to you don't need the whole thing all the way around sticking just one tiny bit on one of the tiny other corners there and then maybe use a little bit of a cotton bud with some activator on a cotton bud and uh, get your little cotton bud here and obviously while holding we're you know down firmly so that the cap doesn't move and then wipe it while holding firmly with a screwdriver with a little cotton bud saturated in super glue activator that just locks that literally in position and it won't won't wobble anymore and therefore your key press you know it'll register as a single key press um, obviously only do that on keys that are affected and just do it as each key becomes affected as your keyboard gets older and then you can you know correct the issue basically uh, but yeah it's happened uh, happening frequently more than not you know I've had probably over 10 keys that you know were fine when new and these were quite tight but over time they've developed this play and wobble which uh, effectively has, has caused the um, the key press to appear as, 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 as chatter um, 
I'll just delete what I've got on the screen because I've got a text editor open just to verify those but as you can see um, that's effectively a considerable problem with these cherry switches um, let's say it's typical German technology which does things like that but you know can't be can't be prejudiced in that area of course but um, yeah that's uh, that's uh, that's my findings on the situation and a small method to um, rectify the issue for uh, for yourselves you know if, if, if you're out of warranty and how to look with it as such you know but just make sure that the super glue is literally just on one corner it's just to hold the cap firm so that the the key press is registered as a zero or in this case a, 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 a naught um, you know uh, without it registering like you've pressed the key twice when you've only ever actually pressed it once but basically that's it so hope that helps and gives um, you good youtubers uh, an insight into the uh, ever-growing problem with these Corsair keyboards um, great build quality everything else you know solid aluminium you know fascias and you know incredibly good on the uh, the RBG lighting but failure on uh, failure on uh, the plastic housing that houses the uh, the little uh, switches unfortunately so anyway my good YouTubers hope have a good one and uh, I'll talk to you soon